Hey guys, you're watching the MTV show. And as you can see, we are joined by my main man, Christopher. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. This yeah. can potentially be the best or the worst part about this trip. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, he's been going through a lot, you know, traveling Asia, getting a lot of experiences, but I sincerely hope that this next This is gonna be a unique one, yeah. Is one that you never forget. Oh. We are here at Kenko Wellness, and Chris, have you ever done a fish spa? No, I have not. We've been walking all day, and I've been doing around 20 interviews today, so my feet are stingy. But it's because you've had such a long day that we thought we'd treat you to a little it's a treat, rest yeah. and relaxation. So should we go in and try this let's out? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's go. It. You wash them for me? Yes. Oh, come on. Christopher, have you ever had your feet washed by anyone else? No, this is the first time. <laughs> Out of all the things I've done on the MTV show, interviewing an artist while having my feet eaten, eaten by a fish is... It's gonna be first for Yeah, too. it's also a first Thanks, for right. me. So Frodo, right? They may <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, God, that feels so weird. What? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Look at the same time, you know? That's... It's so oh. weird. Look, because you're doing that, they're all coming to me. It's like getting, like, bolts in your feet. What if I told you we also eat this fish? Yeah, I'm after. Sure <laughs> yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you just knocked on their door and you were like, hey, audition me. It was not even an audition. I was 17, so I decided that um, I would just go up there and knock on the door and uh, just be like, hey, can I play you some yeah. songs? And you have had three albums since. What does it feel like seeing your album at the number one spot on the charts? Yeah, that's the best feeling. When you write songs, you have your heart in your hand and you're like, crush it, guys, or love it, you know? <laughs> Take it or yeah. leave it. Music is a universal language. Absolutely. Seeing the love and seeing the reactions, I didn't expect that at all. It was so overwhelming playing the first shows here and seeing seeing the love and seeing the reactions. You worked with Matoma yeah. for your track, Take Me Back. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with a fellow Nordic? Matoma was such a sweet guy, just really grounded, really down to earth. When we got in the session, I was like, yo, I need to play this song. I think you could kill this one. Mm -hmm. He grew up in church playing the piano, so he's really, really talented piano player. Yeah, he, he just killed that one. I would say a duet with Beyonce wouldn't be too bad. But I mean, just be yeah, just <laughs> being in a session with a guy like Ed Sheeran or Bruno Mars, that would be. I saw amazing. from your Instagram you did meet Ed. So I go in there completely humble and just like, oh, thank you for taking your time. And um, I'm usually not starstruck, but I just mm -hmm. saw his show, and he is so good. He's annoyingly good. Now I want to talk about your latest single, Naked. What was the inspiration behind that? I wrote the song in, in Norway. And uh, we were in the studio and the producer, Joachim, he just uh, played me this noise. And I was just like, yes, dude, that's the vibe. I didn't feel like it was me, but it became me because like the way we wrote the song and I did the melodies and I did my thing. And it was, for me at least, it takes months to write a good song, you know? And I felt like after a couple hours, I had to feel like it's done, Wow. you know? wrote itself, it took its own life after a couple of minutes. That doesn't happen really often. In the dark, got me feeling like we I have more personal lyrics and more ballads. The creative process is so different and it's so frustrating sometimes because nine out of 10 times you go, that was a good song, but you don't want to settle for good, you know? Mm -hmm. You just want to make the best possible songs. I want it to be 10 bangers on the next album. For every 10 song, I mean, there is one that are like great. That's the hardest part about this job. When you have 100 songs, like killing your darlings and picking the right ones. Well, thank you so much for sitting down in this unusual situation, which I really hope you never forget. Before we sign off, one last message to your Asian fans watching this. Is there anything you'd like to say? Thank you so much for the incredible love and the support you've shown me so far. I am coming back very soon, so thanks for waiting. Keep listening and uh, yeah. I won't let you down with this next one. Guys, check Christopher out and check out his single, Naked, super soon on the channel. And on that note, I think we are going to send you off. So take care and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.